8 o'clock Singapore time and today we have Lawrence uh, so it's 7 o'clock Vietnamese time and if you're joining us from from wherever you are so if you're in the States good morning uh, if you're on this side of the world good afternoon good evening and uh, today we have a very special guest so um, Lawrence it's one of our longest uh, team member on the whole team uh, and he's created thousands of slides so Lawrence is literally our magic maker. Uh, <laughs> Lawrence, you want to do a quick intro about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so hi guys, my name's Lawrence. Um, I am, I've been working at Ahas Lights for two and a half years, which is actually, yeah, like Amin said, one of the longest <laughs> running members now. Uh, we're still a new company, that's why. Um, yeah, so most of my job is in content, working in the marketing team, but I also like to make the templates on Ahas Slides. So Pretty much every template uh, that's made by the official AHA Slides team is made by me. Um, so that includes a lot, all of the team building uh, templates as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you see those templates on AHA Slides, like he's the, he's the guy behind all the great <laughs> templates. And today, uh, we want to talk about this uh, particularly interesting topic. Um, I don't know if I remember it correctly. Uh, it's it's uh what was it Lawrence? It's daily. I can't, I can't <laughs> remember the, the name. <laughs> I can't remember the exact name, but I remember it's um we're calling it everyday team building. Ah yes 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 everyday team building everyday yeah. team building yeah. So we're gonna term uh, we're gonna coin a new term everyday team building today, guys. Uh, and what is that, Lawrence? Could you share more? Yeah. Um. So I'd say everyday team building is uh not necessarily something you have to do every day, but um. It just means kind of short burst, more regular team building than um, the alternative, which a lot of companies go for, which is big retreats, you know, a big retreat to the beach, maybe for a week or maybe just for a weekend or something um, with the whole team, uh, maybe once per year or once per quarter or something like that. Um, yeah, that's one type of team building and there's nothing particularly wrong with that. It's just, I think, to build a more effective team, I think it's better to do more regular short burst team building uh not necessarily every day like i said but maybe two or three times a week or something like that exactly exactly so the the usual so most companies we would have a either half yearly or end of the year plan where we get together and play games and sometimes uh, this is one of the few occasion where you might get to know teams from other members right so on the normal day like i like you know, me and lawrence we are both on the same team we are on the growth team so we might talk to each other and our team members regularly but i i, I really talk to maybe you know some of the team members on the other side on the product team like hi um loy and james right so we really get to do this and yeah. normally what companies does to or companies do to to what do you call it um have more interaction it's they have this team buildings and team activities event whether you travel out or whether it's locally in country right so but today today we're going to suggest something totally different um but what's the i mean other than you know um like what do you think would be the benefits of everyday team building like um let's not put them side by side first let's just look at yeah. everyday team building um i think um yeah one of the biggest benefits is that it uh it gets people talking more. Um, if you do it, uh, like I said, twice a week, just twice a week, um, and these these are only maybe five, 10 or 15 minute activities. If you do that twice a week, um, I think you start to notice more, uh, more collaboration between uh, different members of the team. Like you said, you maybe you don't talk to some members of the team that much. Um, members of other teams within the company, you don't talk to that much. Um, so it's a good excuse to get people together from different teams and um you never really know what's going to happen from that you know like it's gonna aside from people feeling a bit more uh maybe happy and more content to work they've got new friends you know uh turnover is lower because of that but you also have people you know bouncing ideas off each other that the uh, people they've not really talked to before and they don't really know they haven't had a, a way in to talk you know so these kind of activities, if you if you do them a couple of times a week and you bounce different team different members around different uh, teams, then you can start a lot of conversations that maybe you wouldn't be able to um, normally. Because, like you said, we're, we're basically kind of siloed off in our teams, you know, from, yeah. from other teams. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, I feel like this everyday team building could be a big thing. It's like, it's a, uh, it's kind of a strange uh, term, right? But mm. yet, so important. And, you know, earlier today we discussed about how um, I think teams in general, like, so if, if we are comfortable with each other, like, it's, it's going to be easier for us to have a light-hearted moment, right? But I mm. imagine for teams who are, who are sort of like a bit more rigid or they are a bit more uncomfortable with each other, mm. um, that could be quite a difficult thing to imagine, right? Like, what do you think? Mm. Yeah, um, it can be. I think uh, it does kind of depend on the, the nature of the company and the nature of the teams in the company. Um, but having said that, I still think there's something in everyday team building for everyone, for every mm. company. Um, it doesn't always have to be like, uh, you know, like a lot of team building games, especially ones that go on retreats. They're kind of like silly, physical uh, kind of activities uh, that people do together. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that, you know, like we have uh, quite a few templates on our house lives now that um, are basically uh, bits of trivia that you would do in teams together. So you discuss the answer together, you know, you start conversations that way and you put forward an answer and it's got that competitive nature as well. So um, it's quite fun. And I think uh, regardless of the people you're doing it with, um, there's, there's something in it for everyone. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah. So what we're going to do next, uh, it's we, we're going to show uh, how you can set it up quickly. But uh, I think before we segue into the next section, uh, I wanted to point out that, um, you know, when you think about team buildings and you do it every day, uh, there, there are two sort of like major issues that might come to mind for you as a viewer, right? So if you're a manager and most of your team members are, Sort of like a bit more, so sort of like around my age, right? So around the t late thirties, late forties, uh, to do a team building might be a bit awkward, right? And uh, not all team members are fun. Um, so so that's it. I think like the notion of having everyday t team building, it's it's not so much of like you got to have fun in a certain way. So each team mem uh, each team would have your own unique way of of doing things, right? And here at Hard Slides, what we want to show it's it's like uh, this is a platform, and it's it's basically customizable for your own needs, and you can actually easily set up something that your team members would love, right? Yeah. Cool. So, um, Lawrence, I'm gonna head right into the platform. Yeah, sure. Um, since you've been around for, <laughs> so you're you're the pro, right? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, so if if we're gonna do this um, every week, like. Uh, mm. Being a manager uh, or managers out there, you would say, hey, you know, it's going to be crazy. I don't have enough time to prepare. Um, mm. Can you suggest like what's the fastest way? I've got maybe five minutes to prepare and let's sure. limit the game to five minutes only. Sure. So, um, yeah, if, if there's nothing prepared, then we, uh, like I said, I've made all the templates so far. So you can find any of the team building templates um, in either the top bar at the top of your screen there. That's... Um, our most recently downloaded templates. So that does change quite a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of team building ones I can see in there. Or you can see the full list of team building ones if you go to the template tab on the left side. Over here? Yeah, over there. And then um, in the top there, there's a little pill that says uh, team building. So right. that will show you yeah. all of the all of the templates um, that we've categorized as team building templates. So this team building I just click on here, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Right, so yeah. we've got all these uh, templates here. Can I ask, like, um, what does this logo mean? Like, some of them have, uh, that there's a uh, Aha Slides logo. Mm. And then, like, some of them, it's, it's uh, a different logo. Uh, some sure. of them, it's just a letter. Yeah, so this is the template library for, for everyone. Um, users can also submit their own templates. Um, so some of them have made uh, games themselves and submitted them as team building games that they maybe they've used in their own presentations, you know? Um, so the ones that I have made and Aha Slides official account has made, they're the ones at the top and you'll see the little um, the blue tick with our logo uh, there as well. Uh, those are all Aha Slides official. Uh, and then the ones below, all the ones below are ones submitted by the community. Ah, okay, okay, I get it now. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So there are there could be hundreds of templates here, right? It could be, yeah. <laughs> How is there any indicator that would um, you know like I want to know what's good to quickly take? Like, should I use yeah. the for what? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. So the the uh, the download you're looking at now, that little um, symbol there, yeah, that's how many downloads they've had each template. So. Um, it's, it's an okay indicator of how popular they are, but uh, some of these templates, you know, um, were made about two years ago. So they've had a lot of time to get a lot of downloads, you know. Some of them, like that, uh, that one with the clock there, I made pretty much just before this webinar, um, the countdown conundrum one in the bottom left corner. Um, oh, yeah, this one. I made it maybe an hour ago. Oh, it's already got seven downloads. That's nice, bad. nice. Okay. <laughs> that's another team building one as well. Um, so, yeah, that's a good indicator of kind of how popular they are. Um, if you want to know what's good for you, then it's best to click on one that looks interesting and you can see a little description of um, what your players would have to do within that uh, template. Ah, right. So this is like a preview of the, the slides, right? Mm. Exactly. You can see the slides on the right and on the left, you can see the description of uh, how the game works. Okay, okay, cool. So before we get into a template, um, what are the top five recommended templates that any of our viewers who's watching this should definitely take a look and try. Mm. Uh, so for to keep it general, like you say, we don't know exactly uh, how the team's going to react. So a nice uh, middle of the road one, I would say, is uh, team riddles. Um, so this is basically fairly standard, fairly simple. It's just a, a bunch of riddles that uh, people have to uh, solve in teams. So they talk about the answer and submit the answer with their phone. Cool, cool. How about another one, like another four? But we don't have um, to go into details. Just, just <laughs> let us know. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, I like two truths, one lie as well. I think two truths, one lie. Okay, game, okay, yeah. this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I quite like the countdown one I just made as well. It's not that popular yet, but I'm hoping the later on. That's like solving anagrams, basically. Okay, okay. So yeah. for those of you who are watching, uh, and if you haven't tried this uh, template, this is something. Lauren seemed to highly recommend, so do check that out. Because <laughs> I just made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, another two would be good. Um, I think I you talk about like been there, done that, right? Been there, done that, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. about personal experiences. So that's yeah. quite good for getting to know people, you know. I think this uh, is good. This is like evergreen. Like you could use yes. for a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. And last one. What do you think would be a good um, I think... Uh, Maybe team, uh, time team, team time capsule I quite like as well. This one's a bit more silly, I guess, on the sillier side, but it's still, um, yeah, very fun. But this, this you require a bit of customization, I guess. You this have one to, does, yeah. This yeah. one you need to get uh, pictures of your staff before they, uh, before you uh, play. Correct, correct. So this could yeah. be something that a HR team member could do and collate for end of the yes. year, for example. Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, okay. I want to go into one of them uh, just to show our viewers how easy it is they can do. And so let's go for the most, the freshest one. Countdown. The freshest one. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Countdown conundrums. That's a brilliant name, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Oh, this is not me. This is from a TV show, but yeah. <laughs> popular TV show anyway. All right, all right, cool. So let's get the template so when you get a template it copies into your presentation right so this is my account right yeah, that's correct yeah. cool cool so everything is all set and ready uh, mm-hmm. is that correct yeah that's fine um the only thing that's not ready is that you would have to set up your teams before you start um so to do that you just go into settings in the top toolbar there this one yeah that's right okay and then uh general quiz settings general quiz settings so it's this one yeah Okay. And then you see the players' teams there. Um, if you click Setup, then you can choose how many teams you would like to have playing and how many people you would like to have in each team. Ah, okay. So yeah. so let's say you're a team of six. You got to split up first. Like, okay, break yeah. into three, guys. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so there are, let's say maybe, you know, most teams are small. So there are four team members. Mm-hmm. I'm going to break into two. Um, and each team size is about two. Yeah. Like that? Okay. Yeah, so that'd be two versus two then. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so then it'll be like a team game, right? So each submission will mm. count towards a team tally. Yeah, correct. So the the scoring rule at the moment there is fastest answer only, which means two people would talk about the the what they think is the correct answer, and then one of them would send it using their phone, and that answer would be 
be counted as their ah, submission. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So yeah. this team format is really interesting because I never thought about it like that. So it mm. forces the team members to talk to each other, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I see, I see. And okay, okay. And you can sort of like set the co- scoring method. So whether it's average yeah. score, total score, and mm. fastest answer only. That's right, yeah. Okay, cool. But if let's say, you know, uh, the whole team wants to win, they don't want to have teams, <laughs> how do they do that? Yeah, sure. You can take off the players' teams if you click the little uh, the pill on the right. This one? A little toggle, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that means everyone will join uh, individually and it'll just be an individual um, school game. Got it, got it. Okay. So it looks like I'm all set, but uh, I have five minutes, so I'll just pick um, five slides. Sure. Um, how do I like see all the slides? Um, so best way is to go into grid view at the bottom of the left column. Yeah. Right. And okay. then you can see the layout of everything. So you can um, select the slides and uh, delete them as you want. Okay. Um, so I think um, I like to put in a few uh, different uh, questions, like right. maybe eight to ten in each um, each presentation. But you you know you don't have to use all of them. Um, right. You can you can delete uh, individual slides and just have maybe four this week and four the next week. You know you can split them out over over certain time. Yeah, I agree. Like to do yeah. all eight is a bit <laughs> much mm-hmm. for a yeah, daily team event. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna try delete. So I'm gonna press right click. Oh, I think it still doesn't work for me though. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm so gonna <laughs> manually d- delete this. Um, sure. I think it could be something to do with my mouse. It and might be. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm going to be a bit more generous to my team. So we're going to have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sure. is still a good number. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So I, I have a presentation. How do I get back to the normal view? Uh, so click the, the cross in the top right uh, corner of the grid view. Yeah. Ah, good. okay. Okay. So I'm back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Aha Slides uh, or, you know, some of the simplest things you could do, it's basically you can change the font size um, and you can, also, of course, change the slide types. So if, if you don't want this to be a, a what do you call that? Um, type answer. You can change it also, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. of, of course, you change the game. <laughs> so I'm not going to change sure, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think, you know, um, Lawrence has showed us how um, you can easily set this up and do this in literally um, a few minutes, right? Mm-hmm. And I think uh, let's, you know, let's talk about the whole point of being able to do this quickly. Um, and, you know, the whole point about this talk is we want to share about how um, team building should be something that is is great to incorporate all the time. It's 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 not something that you think about at the end of the quarter because I think uh, a lot of part when uh, you know for most teams and a lot of companies, it's coming to work is an everyday grind, right? Like you know it's it's end of Sunday, and then you know Monday comes, you just like ah oh, okay I have this set of things to do, A B C D E. And you get siloed into your own work and your own team, right? So there's really yeah. enough time to uh, collaborate between teams or have new ideas or, and, and so forth. I think the whole idea stems from the lack of communication between each other and you know, the, the lack of opportunities to know each other. Yeah. And when you have, when you have like team holidays, etc., uh, although, you know, this, this talk is really bad for us because Dave likes to bring us on holiday <laughs> every yeah, six months. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, Dave, uh, if you are, you are listening mm-hmm. to this... <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, I, I also forgot. I didn't change the title uh, of this yeah. talk. <laughs> <laughs> I've just noticed that as well. <laughs> so, I will just change it now. Everyday team building. Yeah. With AHA slides. <laughs> right. So, for those of you who are joining in... Um, today's topic is really uh, everyday team building with, with AHA slides, right? <clears throat> and Lawrence brought, brought up a great point. So Lawrence has been our team member for two years now. And he's suggesting that uh, instead of spending thousands of dollars, well, you should you should still spend if you have the budget to spend mm-hmm. and bring your team members out for uh, a longer vacation, you should. Yeah. Um, but, but this is a great way for, you know, uh, having the benefits, right? So yeah. Lawrence, like, you know, let's let's have a recap about um, 
what I might have missed out, right? So, mm. what are the benefits for having everyday team building, in your opinion? Um, I think it's for basically to to start conversations between uh, different members um, of different teams as well. Um, I think uh, I have nothing against going on holiday, going to the beach once a year, once a quarter, you know, whatever it is. Um, I think that is good. Um, I just think that that is kind of the thing that um, people think that is only team building. That's that's what team building is. You know, it's once a quarter or something. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, and I don't think it should be that. I think if you do it more regularly, you're going to start to see more changes in your team than if you just did it once every quarter. You know, because it is nice to go to the beach once every quarter, once every year, or whatever. But you kind of, I think, you kind of forget those experiences quickly. Um, like you said, our, our boss Dave, he he likes the the one yearly or two yearly trips, you know, and we do as well. Like you know, absolutely love it, no complaints. It's just that we we forget about it quickly, you know. We come back and then we know that the next trip's going to be another seven eight months away. Um, it's kind of weird to think of team building like that, um, but I think the more regularly you do it, um, the closer your team will be. Uh, you can never really overbuild a team. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. keep them, keep them talking, keep them playing together. Like, like I said, twice, even just twice a week, uh, with a little game like we just showed. Um, I think the benefits can be pretty big. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Reminds yeah. me, uh, you know, I came about uh, two teams, one in uh, Korea. So they are a um, silicon wafer company. So they manufacture um, silicon chips, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's a traditional straight up uh, a wafer fat factory so you know the kind where they wear overalls and you have to wear your head caps and everything yeah. uh, and the the staff uh, so I've never really seen the staff but I assume uh, they'll be more of like elderly and middle aged and above right yeah. um, but they have fantastic team activities every yes. single week and it's yeah. like there's there's like amazing inside jokes inside and I yeah. imagine it's really a fun place to, to work in right yeah. um so I think, you know, like, what do you think about um, how do we, like, as a manager, right? So if, let's say, you are a manager, Lawrence, and you don't want this to fall onto yourself, right? Every week you have to think, ah, what do I have to think about, like, team building games? Like, how do you sure. imagine we can we can do this together as a team? Any suggestion for this? Sure. Um, so there's uh, quite a lot of tools. Um, I know, obviously, coming up with your own team building uh, activities, it, it just takes too long. Um and most people uh, don't really have the time for that, you know. But there, uh, there are a lot of tools out there. There's uh, one I like particularly called We and Me, um, which is just the, the same kind of thing, just little games, but based on cards. So all the instructions are on one side of a card, you know, and they like to keep it simple um, so that it's accessible for everyone, you know. Um, so I quite like We and Me. There's another one called Facilitator Cards, the same thing. Um, and of course, uh, slides. It's got a, a lot of templates at this point. Um, and yeah, I try and make sure that the games don't run past 10 minutes, you know? Right, right. For me personally, as a sort of like, a, I like to set up procedures, right? SOPs. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably, you know, um, think about a, a, a rotation scheme. So I'll, mm -hmm. I might start this week uh, and, you know, the next week will be on you, Lawrence, for example, and sure. then the next will be someone else. I think yeah. it'd be it'd be quite interesting to see how our team members uh, themselves think about you know what are the funny. Yeah. Uh, it also talks about how they are as a person, right? So we get to yeah, know yeah. them intimately as a person. Yeah, exactly. And that's good um, a good experience for the people who are hosting as well, because not only are you building a team, but you're building maybe leaders of that team as well. Like if they start uh, hosting more, they get uh, more comfortable hosting, maybe, uh, talking with other people. You know, um, that's the kind of thing you need to do consistently you know, regularly and consistently so it's you don't really find leaders while you're you know team building on the beach once a year um it's got to be kind of in the office every week you've got to see them doing something you know so um yeah so it's possible to rotate you can see who's who's leading um who the best yeah i agree i agree so you know for a lot of users who use our slides we notice that you actually use it for holiday periods or once in a while town halls but here we're trying to tell you that, hey, look, it doesn't have to be a once yearly event or a quarterly event. Yeah. Um, you, you should sort of like take this as a way to get to know internal teams first uh, so that each member, you get comfortable with each other, 
you have the opportunity to take the initiative to run small little five minute programs and that could spark a lot more things and at the same time if you are a hr executive uh this could be the start of you uh doing inter-team activities right that could happen like at a span of like five minutes every friday that could be a whole new thing like together as yeah. a company yeah exactly i don't think you have to put um too much work in as well you know like like i said there's a lot of tools out there um and uh yeah if you're gonna do it consistently then it really should run more than five or ten minutes you know? yeah yeah i agree Right, so um, this time around, we're not going to have like a, um, what do you call it, a aha slice link. Uh, if you have any ideas about how we can do team building better, uh, like drop your comments in Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, let us know about your thoughts about, you know, how can we do everyday team building. Um, you know, if it picks up, we could sort of like see how we can coin this term to see uh, how this can possibly help other teams around the world, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I see why not. Yeah. So, um, Lawrence, so before we end, um, any wise wisdom from you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would say that, uh, from doing this ourselves, um, uh, you might, if you were to do this, to start this, uh, everyday team building, these short activities, you might at the start encounter a little bit of resistance. Um, that's kind of normal, you know, like it's, uh, it's going to be new for everyone because, you know, it's, it's not a lot of companies are doing this. Um, so to, to start this kind of new initiative, uh, and to have teams that are regularly talking with people they don't normally talk to, you know, it's kind of human nature to, to not be totally comfortable with, you know, talking to people that you don't really know that well, you know? Um, so I think that wherever you do it, there's going to be a little bit of resistance at the start, but I would just say, that um, if you keep pushing it, if you keep pressing through, people are going to adapt and they're going to learn to kind of look forward to meetings, you know, because at the moment meetings, they just, you know, a lot of the time you sit in a room with, with people you barely talk to and you just kind of absorb information. I think this is a good way to, to start a meeting with some fun, uh, some collaboration, and um, eventually people will see that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's... Um... That's that's something to think about. So I just want to quickly summarize what Lauren said in in, in a sentence. Uh, it's going to be difficult when you start. It's going to be awkward, but try to push on for maybe a week or two, right? And, you know, if you guys need help, uh, we are definitely here. So you could email us at hi at ahaslides.com um, or you could always drop a comment on our webinar. Uh, this time around, just drop on the comment section uh, and, you know, our team will be on hand to look at. And some of this uh, definitely will be a topic that we want to talk about in the coming webinars. Yeah. So for those of you who have joined us or for those of you who are joining us in the future post live stream, uh, thank you for taking the time to reach this section, which is the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how many of you actually reach it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, every Thursday, same time, 8 p.m. Singapore time, 8 a.m. on the, uh, you know, the the what do you call it the opposite side of the earth <laughs> so around this time we are always here every thursday okay yep. so till next time see, uh you know have a good night or have a great morning um catch you guys again all right all right thanks you for your time yeah thank you um, see you guys all right bye. take care guys